Hey everyone, there's a new image generation model based on Flux.1 Crea Dev, and it's called Flux Crea Blaze. With this model, you only need four or eight steps to generate an image. So let's see where we can download it and how to use it in Comfy UI. The download link is in the description. Let's get started by opening this link in the browser. Here we go. Here's the model called Flux Crea Blaze. Use the download button to get it. There's also a LoRa version that can be used with the Flux.1 Crea Dev model. To get the LoRa, click on the LoRa folder. Here you'll find three different ranks of the LoRa. The higher the rank, the more quality it will produce, but it also requires more memory. I suggest trying the different ranks to see for yourself which one works best for you. Later in this video, I'll show you how to use these LoRa's. After the download, let's see where you need to put the files. Open your downloads folder. First, let's select the Flux Crea Blaze model file and cut it. Open the Comfy UI Models folder, then open the folder called Diffusion Models and paste the file. Next, let's go back to the Downloads folder to see where we need to put the LoRa's. Let's select all the LoRa's and cut it then open the Comfy UI Models folder, then find and open the folder called LoRa's. Paste the LoRa's there. Now, let's switch to Comfy UI. Refresh the interface by pressing R on the keyboard. OK, we're ready. I have a simple workflow here that I made for the Flux.1 Crea model. Let's modify it to use Flux Crea Blaze. In the Load Diffusion Model node, let's select Flux Crea Blaze V1. In the Dual Clip Loader, there's no need to change Clip Name 1. For Clip Name 2, let's select the FP8 version of T5XXL. In the Load VAE node, there's nothing to change. For the empty SD3 latent image, I'll use the default resolution. For the positive prompt, I'm going to use one of my pre-written prompts. In the K sampler, I'll start with four steps. For the sampler, I'm going to use Res 2s. If you don't have this sampler, you need to install a custom node pack called RES4LYF. You can use the Comfy UI Manager to install it. Let me show you. Open the Comfy UI Manager. Click on Custom Nodes Manager. Search for RES4LYF. Here it is. I've already installed it, but make sure you're installing the correct custom node pack, which has a lot of stars. Since I've already installed it, let's close the manager and go back to the K sampler. For the scheduler, I'm going to use Bong Tangent. You should also note that when you run a model for the first time, the generation may be slower than in subsequent generations. Now, let's click on the Run button and wait for the result. Here we go, the generation is finished. Let's open this image in a new tab, as you can see, the result is pretty nice. There are some minor issues, but overall, like I said, it is pretty good result that we got with four steps. Now, let's try another prompt. Let's copy this to the positive prompt. Then, let's run the workflow. Here we go, the generation is finished. Comparing the current generation time with the previous one, which was 61 seconds, we saved around 20 seconds. Now, let's go back to the image we generated. Let's open it in a new tab. Overall, the generation is pretty nice. If you look closely, there are some minor problems around the hands. Now, let's go back to Comfy UI and try eight steps. With eight steps, the sampler I'm going to use is Euler, and the scheduler I'm going to use is Beta. This time, I'm going to use another prompt. Let's copy that from Notepad to the positive prompt, then run the workflow. Here we go, the generation is finished. So, this time, generation took around 36 seconds. Well, I think this is a fine-looking image. Now, let's see how we can use Allura with the Flux.1 Crea Dev model. In the Load Diffusion Model node, I'm going to use the FP8 version of the Flux.1 Crea Dev model. After that, let's add a node called LoRa Loader Model only. Then, connect the model output of the Load Diffusion Model node to the model input of the LoRa Loader Model only node. Next, let's move the K sampler over here. Now, Connect the model output of the LoRa Loader model only node to the model input of the K sampler. If you've downloaded multiple LoRa ranks of Flux Crea Blaze, you can choose it here. I'm going to use the highest rank LoRa. For the K sampler, I'm going to use the previous settings. There's no need to change anything. Let's run the workflow and wait for the result. And here we go, the generation is finished. Let's open this image in a new tab. I don't find any issues with this image. It looks good to me. Now, let's take a look at the generation time. The generation took 88 seconds. Because we just ran the model for the first time, let's try another generation to see if the time improves. Let's try another prompt and run the workflow. Here we go, the generation is finished. 
the generation looks good, and the generation time was around 74 seconds. Well, we save some seconds, but when comparing this with the model version of Flux Crea Blaze, it is slow. Anyway, guys, I suggest trying this model or the LoRa yourself and seeing if it helps you. Also, try different samplers and schedulers to see how they affect the generation. That's it. See you soon with another video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.